hide everything. All right, guys, so it's been like probably a week and a half, two weeks since I've even touched free code camp, which is a long time for me. I work on this stuff almost every day. But we are doing Pig Latin Bonfire, and this was a, this is one of those standard ones where if you've programmed in any other languages for class or for in general, you usually end up getting the Pig Latin one. So there's a, I, I did this in Java and Python, I believe, time before. So there's a couple different ways you can solve this. Uh, let me show you how I did mine. So we're basically going to replace any words that start with a a vowel. We're going to add way onto it and that's it. And that's probably the easiest thing to do. If it doesn't, we're going to go until we hit a vowel and then we're going to add a, a y, instead of a. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to break up your word into an array of characters. So for me, I created, I called it letters and I just said, take our original string, uh, str rather, our original str. And in this case, we want to dot split it on every space so break it up into letters and if we were re return if we were to return letters right now you'd be able to see that it broke up our string cool um, let's put that back so the next thing we're going to use is regex to compare if there's any aeiou and i if you're like me i don't know uh regular expressions like this very well so typically it just takes a google search and for me to find out if there's a for the regex for the AEIOU is simply you put it in like this and I wish I could go into more detail why that is but this worked for me and I just did a quick search and you probably should know how to do it but um, this takes you're taking these values so that we can do an if statement that's going to check if the first letter matches any of those. So does it match an A-E-I-O-U? So we're gonna say our val regex dot test, and we're gonna test to see if our letters array at the starting point matches. If it does, we're going to return our new word letters or excuse me, our new array letters, and we're going to join it with the string way. And that's it, and so that should actually, valregex is not defined. Oh, make sure you spell everything correctly. Cool, so you can see we're, we're, we're getting some right right here. So, uh, this starts with an A, so if we were to test it on, uh, let's just do eight, because eight's a little easier. You can see right there, eight ways. So cool, so we have those out. But now we have to address the ones that don't start with a, with a, um, a vowel. So the way I did this was, I and this was not the first way I did this. Um, I originally tried iterating through with a for loop, and I ended up getting an infinite error, because I kept on put popping and pushing onto an array so there's a like i said there's tons of words to do this ways to do this so we're gonna do the same thing we did right now but since we don't want the test we want it when it fails we want it to do something when it fails we're gonna have to put that exclamation point and then we're gonna test uh letters zero so letters again is our array of letters and then what do we want to do? We want to we want to push on it. So remember when you push, it's going to add it to the end of the array. And what is it that we want to push on it? We want to push it by one, but we're going to splice it from that spot because remember we're going to splice at the zero point and then we're going to push it on the end. And the reason for that is we can't just we need to remove the letter and put it on the end, not just add on to the end. So we're going to have letters dot splice a lot of these uh functions at this point we should have probably you know something when something like this comes you're kind of like oh cool i this i think i might be able to do it with this and you might be remembering some stuff but uh else so what we want 
So if, if this test that fails is true, it hits an AEI or U, what do we want to do? We just want to break the while loop. And then finally, um, in my case, the way I did it, we are, take our original string that we started with, and we just want to change it. And you could do, this is probably, there's probably a quicker way to do this rather than going through and adding a Y onto there. Because we move the string, this is only for this uh, this part. Because we return it here, so that's why we're returning a y here. Um, we could also do it in the else loop and add, and just say yeah, you know, and add it here. But and there we go. It's that simple. So let's uh, let's go through our code real quick and put the comments in. Because um, you know, I did this. This took me probably about close to forty minutes. Uh, working on it so you know describing it in five minutes may not be as helpful so let's put some comments so uh, this is just gonna break uh, original string into an array of characters regex for strings that contain a E I O U test the first character of the array upon matching adds way to the end of to the end of the string. And let's see. Um, for cases not matching vowels, if regex doesn't contain a vowel at first first char, push it to the end. The first letter. And we'll put this here as well. Even though there's, it looks like no code. Why are we doing an else and a break? It's it's at least helpful to be able to look back and understand it. So breaks uh, upon finding a vowel because that's the only reason to do there. Um, and then here adds a y and join. To the end, to the end, and joins string, str, string, string, string back together. Cool. So that was Bonfire Pig Lamb, the intermediate algorithm section. As always, thanks for watching, guys, and keep on keeping on. Don't forget to keep on spending time coding. Sometimes it's easy to get yourself down. As always, comments, questions, concerns are appreciated. See you guys next time.